I'm afraid if we do any more than that, we're going to get the video pulled. <laughs> so we better just stop it there. <laughs> That's fine. It's a long... It is a bit long. Long video. <laughs> is that I was out? just trying to see what the improvements were going to be on this game. I can't remember. There was a few things they were talking about. Ah, uh, man, I figured you got me, man. Honestly, I don't even remember the improvements from the last game. For me, honestly, even as far as that, like, I expect improvements for Assassin's Creed. Don't get me wrong. But for me, it's all mm. about the story in Assassin's Creed. It's like, I'll, I'll forgive a lot of shitty story in Assassin's Creed if they have a decent story going on behind it. For example... Oh Assassin's Creed 2020, five facts you need to know. <laughs> oh, need to know, not should, not want to know. Need oh, this, to know. No, this, this, is, no, this is old. Why the hell is this? This is from August last this, year. I think it's going to be tough anyway, because but, any, any I, gameplay we see now is not going to be indicative of end game play. You know what I mean? It'll yeah. be like a look into it, but the the whole point of the previews and peaks is to give you an idea they're usually not even done with their shit yet and it's to to be fair it's fair making a game is hard it's like there's a lot of little moving pieces that can go wrong that's why they have to glitch test for so long well, i mean other than that cinematic trailer looked cool looked interesting i mean i am kind of getting a little like it's they just kind of hop on to the next thing that they can it's like they did Egypt, they did Vikings, it's like, yeah. it's a game, it's, like, it's kind of like the Call of Duty train, you know, kind of like, they push a game out every year now. Of I definitely like think it is that, I definitely think it's that way, but at least they have the benefit of having one, like, a decent campaign. So, like, yeah. the thing Call of Duty usually lacks, with a couple of exceptions, is, and even on the last couple they just don't have any, is a, is a campaign mode. Or some form of like. <laughs> the campaign modes were pretty fun. I remember those. those were yeah, yeah. Fun. The story was fun. It was, yeah. Back, it wasn't like back when they made them. Yeah. Like no, no. It was a war. It was, and there was but, usually like save, you know, kill the Russians, save the world, traitor, American. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It it was it was like watching old uh, like action movies, basically, kind of like or war action movies, where it's like you got to get this code to the to the bomb at the end of the thing or where they're gonna blow up the world trade center shit like that you know what i mean like it was yeah. cool it was good like uh i think it was black ops 2 is probably my favorite story where they just had you like going to like the gulag or some sh the mission that really is just like is still crazy to me to this day is the one where they made weren't, i think you were russian spies or something i can't remember that but anyways you had went into the airport and just literally started blasting yeah everyone. that like, was oh funny oh my gosh what the hell is this Dude, the, the funnier part about that i saw a meme about that not too long ago where they were like we all did this we actually did this and it was just them waiting in the, in the airport lobby to go in and just get it and i was like oh man or wherever the they were it's all executed in that whole scene because they like they're all just dressed up all kind of the same they're all kind of just chilling they're all just you know they're, they have you know they have a plan set something's gonna go down and you're just like oh fuck i'm gonna be the person that's gotta make it go down I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's in a video game so i am default the one who has to do this shit so i mean it was, it was cool i mean i always did like the old call of duties they were fun i don't i won't get you know get me wrong on that like they they were enjoyable i did play them but after a while you know they kind of got you know the same repetitive and like I said then there was really no campaign at one point there was kind of just they were more focused on multiplayer um like they kind of even now are um but i guess i haven't played the new it's like they have a new modern warfare out now right uh, i mean there's so many but that came out with the they, war zone they game, came guess, they they come out with one like every year or more yeah. now and then they'll come out with like a secondary version one that's like oh well this is our version of fortnite or yeah. this is our version of yeah it's it's well, I good. I play the one on the phone even. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's actually, oh dude. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I I keep telling people while I don't respect phone gaming because the actual skill necessary to do it is compensated for by the phone. Mm -hmm. The actual 
uh logistics of phone games right the the technical stuff going on in there is actually pretty impressive like the yeah. the graphics are pretty good the motion is yeah. not bad like there's not like yeah. crazy lag well, there's yeah, obviously there's mm -hmm. obviously not a whole super ton you can do a lot of time but it's it's good the stuff they do it's good yeah xbox is uh kind of doing the same thing with uh I joined that uh, with the streaming preview thing that they're oh, doing. Oh, yeah, where yeah. You get to stream the games to your phone now, and if you just have an Xbox controller, you can just uh, clip it on your phone and just start playing uh, Halo Collection Master yeah. Chief on your phone, which is cool. I like the concept. I mean, it was, again, it was cool. It's a little laggy because it's, you know, all streaming. Yeah. But to be fair, play. Bad. PlayStation has something similar. Not yeah, exactly the same, but, the same yeah. but it's once again it's laggy there's time between like i've i've tried both to do streaming things you know in different ways not so much the uh playing on the phone one for xbox but the, the other xbox ones where you would like stream it to the pc you know different things to try and see all right well how can i stream this more effectively and there's always just that little bit of lag it seems to kill it for those mm -hmm. ones uh the other thing is i i mean i guess i could see it for certain situations but I'm trying to think of a situation where I would want to go from the, you know, my monitor or my t television to my phone for a game. Yeah, that's that's where I come to too. Like um, it's cool for the Switch and stuff, like which I really thought about getting one of those because oh, I love my Switch. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, because <laughs> you can run around. My problem now is like I don't actually have anywhere to go and play my Switch. Like I'm I don't go anywhere where i'm like all right well i'm sitting here with nothing to do so i gotta mm -hmm. i can play as this like if i'm got time to play games it's because i'm at home and not doing anything <laughs> <laughs> i still uh, need to beat, uh, beat my pokemon game so oh, um, sword i'm almost done with it i, I got so many doom i'm on the last boss i haven't got i that. i'm i think i got two or three more levels of doom because i just got past where your the slayer sword is <laughs> somewhere around there so well let's see other, other than that, i mean we've been we've been saying what we've been kind of doing here um what's what's what, coming up <laughs> that you seen? <laughs> what was the, game that we were talking the about? second like, extinction i looked it up uh i looked it up i think it's second extinction let's see here. i believe reclaim earth i think is what they're calling it Second Extinction is a co-op FPS that looks like Turok Cross with Generation Zero. Oh, maybe that is it then. Second Gen Extinction looks like Destiny with Dinosaurs. Yeah, that's probably the one. <laughs> yeah, three-player co-op. That's how I know, because not a lot of... Oh, yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah, there, are more, there are more yes. and more games coming to three-player co-op, and I'm not sure how happy I am about it. Like, yeah. I, I mean, it looked fun. I mean, when I watched the gameplay. You know, I was as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh, even the dinosaurs look very creative looking. They're not, you know. It, it looks were... good. It's just, once again, the three player co op thing, and I, I'm wondering what I liked about it was the variety, and w one of the things that I felt like uh, was a little bit lacking in things like GTFO. So like, you have this concept of play, but it looks like you're going to have different types of enemies not just like all right you have the raptors but it looks like we at least had a t-rex we'll probably have some yeah. like an end boss maybe yeah game. yeah and hopefully hopefully even beyond that i mean you got because the t-rex is good but if we're talking you know crazy kind of zombie or evil dinosaurs i mean there's nothing to stop you from using big ass herbivores either yeah yeah so Which, I'm curious yeah, to see where this is going to go. It, and I think it was an Xbox exclusive from the uh, scene? No. Or the, was it just, it, it just had just, the Xbox logo at the yeah, end, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's just an egg optimized for Series X, which okay. a lot of games are. Yeah. So, it, And that's I, the I, other thing is it's optimized for that. So is it even going to come out before that? Okay, yeah. And it looks like I'm just like going down their like page now, like the actual mm -hmm. release page on Xbox. Oh, they have a release. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's not released yet, but it's, you know. Uh, they have a... Uh... Yeah, like an announced game on uh, Xbox. It's If you just look up Second Extinction, it's mm -hmm. like the second one after the Steam page. But uh, apparently you got the evil dinosaurs and then they, they mutate. So they're going to like, it's showing some of them will probably mutate and have like See, powers. That's what I kind of got from it too. Cause when I was looking at them, they don't look like your normal kind of looking dinosaurs. Even yeah. the raptors look really freaking 
Like they like their teeth look like they've been you know more extended out. They look a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe that was they, just me. But no, I mean they uh, look a little different. I just passed it off as like a kind of Elseworld alien yeah, kind like of event. Well, because I played a bunch of Evolve where their monsters were like weird, but it's not the same as like having a like evolving and even in Evolve. I mean, obviously the monsters evolved and yeah, in the middle of the game. But this one just looks like kind of a permutation one and. It looks interesting. I okay. think it it looks like it's a co-op kind of fighting game too, so there might be a lot of I don't know, it's it's really tough to put intense co-op play because people aren't actually good intense co-op players and then no, they complain about it. People, they they crack under the pressure and they... And then they well the problem isn't even that you crack is like then you complain about it. It's like yeah, all right. Yeah, and then you start yeah, and then you start complaining about the whole situation. Yeah, I can't yeah. play with people like that either. Which like, why did you mess up? Why didn't you do them like bro? It's like shit happens, nah. man. Yeah, it's like just try and trying. And even sometimes like as we talked about it, that was one of my things with GTFO was like a lot of the time it was me, but sometimes it was the game where I would be like, "All right, I'm going to swing for this." All right, the swing doesn't swing down the center line of where it's reticle actually yeah, that's, is. That's, that's, yeah, that's Did you know that? Yeah, you got to swing like at the same to... time with everyone. And boom. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so time coordinated. And oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean about that. So, so I mean, there's times it's really exciting. It's really fun when you get people who are, you know, you know oh, yeah, willing to... to stress out and like, you know, they're just trying to have fun as well. And if the if you guys win it, cool. You guys beat it, but like you guys had fun doing it, and you guys aren't really gonna be. Maybe you argue a few times. That's okay, but you're not gonna be like making people feel bad about what they did wrong. Right. Or, you don't know. you don't jive people for their mistakes unless they make the exact same mistake again and again and again. <laughs> That's different though. That's like, dude, you have hit that button eight times. The last eight times. Stop hitting that button, please. It was like, <laughs> but no, it was like, dude, I accidentally hit the ground. Shit. Ding. Ah, everything wakes up. But no, like, uh, it's it's definitely better for games to have a line or to be, like, upfront. One thing I like about GTFO is that it's, like, really upfront with its warning and being like, hey, this is not an easy game at all. There's no oh, yeah. settings. There's no, you know what I mean? This game is meant to be really... Yeah, not easy right in. Yeah, yeah exactly it's like dark souls in that oh kind yeah of way. very dark much souls doesn't give you no explanation or anything you really kind of just yep it doesn't tell you where you need to go you have oh to yeah with the narrative because the narrative kind of really see and even be even go. beyond that like this one does pretty good on the narrative and other stuff even things to like so like i was concerned with like uh using the computer when you had to but we did one of the upload missions and it gives you oh. It gives you the code that you need to know to upload certain things. Although certain things are like random. Granted, they're like basic enough to do that you should understand them if you've done certain games or games that are similar. So like I remember we were doing the upload one and you had to input a word based on the code. But the code okay. was like put onto the screen. So they put it, it's like, all right, it was you know vector one vector two vector three and it's like all right you need vector two and vector two was moon or dog or some shit you know what i mean just a random word you had to type into the console i heard too i haven't looked at the console but i heard it looks like a kind of like an old school dos kind of ah uh, it's it's just command line <laughs> yeah that's what somebody was saying and i was like oh, yeah that's funny <laughs> and and it's honestly even the controls remind me of basic kind of command line stuff that it's like but it's it's even simpler and not with as many rules it's kind of interesting yeah, 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 i got no, i gotta yeah. check out some I of this i would assume it wouldn't be too like you know complex like that no 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 they, they, you know they still at least did i mean that was kind of no they i no and it's that. really interesting because obviously you can use that and kind of help yourself throughout the game using the command console obviously mm -hmm. you don't with a couple exceptions you don't have to use the command console not technically it makes things easier mm -hmm. but you can just kind of explore and figure your shit out so let's see here what we have uh kind of to look forward for i guess on games because uh the one that i guess everyone was really looking forward for was last of us which got i guess push back yeah game. the last of us about too like about mm. a month or what, what was it i don't was remember how right? long i don't remember how long it got pushed back for it's supposed to come out still this june or july one of the one of the two july Probably. or june um but i heard did you hear about them leaks that got that got uh, released on it I guess it it exposed the whole basically the whole story and the whole ending of everything, and uh, 
yeah some they were they were very disappointed you know the developing team you know for that to come out you know the, the you know, thing is it just that like one wants experience on, right you know what they're playing like the thing but, is i don't understand twofold so like as a person who's a reader and player of a game i don't want to know like i, I yeah. want to play and see so if i saw that i would immediately one be angry that it existed yeah. And I am angry that it exists. I said it shouldn't be out there. Even when it's done, it shouldn't be out there for a couple months. Like people yeah. should know better than that. And if it is, it should be heavily spoiler labeled, which people should know about that. I mean, I don't know about you, but every group I'm in is pretty strict on no spoilers. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, there's that. I just you know sometimes some people are bad putting up articles. You know when they say hey spoiler, but then it's like right in their title, <laughs> and you accidentally read the whole title. You're like fuck. Ah. <laughs> like that's not that's that doesn't protect you from spoiler. <laughs> that's why it's supposed to be fucking start spoiler and then. They're supposed to blank out stuff. It's like, did you know who blah 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 the Hulk or some shit? You know what I mean? Like anything. Uh, Speaking of, I I was so happy I finally got cut up on all of the X Men stuff. Oh, I still need to too, bro. I have a whole. I literally have a whole stack this big of them right now mm. that I need to catch up on. But I didn't realize. I have all my books now that I can just go shit and start reading through them real quick. That was the thing that was fucking me up here was that. All my books were everywhere, and I was like, I read one issue here, and then like, okay, well, where's the next issue? That one. So now I finally ended up putting all the X Men books all together. So now I can just grab this whole big old stack of books, and I'm gonna read all of X Men now. Probably maybe tomorrow, or um, probably this week. Sometime this week, I'm gonna try to read all of their stuff. It's but, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I will say I didn't realize that a lot of those books went past six. Like I thought yeah, they were gonna cap yeah. them at six again, and they did for yeah. some of them. But a well, good the fallen angels, right? Was one uh, of them. But then that yeah. just ended up becoming he uh, Helions now because that's where Psylocke went to. So yeah, I mean, I mean it was and wasn't, but it it was a different concept too. That one was the weird thing was I after I like when I that story. I thought it was okay. It was okay. But the uh, writing was it, really it, good. It started good. It started good. That, I'll say Here's, that. It started well, good. All right. So to, ended, to, that, that to be good. specific, and we've, we've talked about that before, the story wasn't very good. But the dialogue was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dialogue was like good. Like the, the uh, writing specifically, you know what I mean? The way they wrote their words and the phrasings and the quotes and stuff, really good. The story itself just didn't make you really, sim I guess, like empathize and kind of like connect with the new character, which was, was the point. But, yeah, I mean, they were trying to make you feel cool about Psylocke. And then they, I mean, they were trying to do a good job of just separating those two. Yeah. Finally, they were trying to I, establish her. I did not know that there was all this confusion of that th this is basically Braddock as. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I was like, oh my gosh. I had to go look up all this history because I was so confused having reading Fallen. I think that's also what didn't help was that I did not know. That they got split, yeah. So a lot of people don't know, out. like, uh, and uh, I, re I always remember people were always complaining about that. They're like, "How is come Betsy Brock's Asian and then Brian's English?" And I was like, "You read that chapter, it's okay." And I can it's like, it's, it's vain, fine. <laughs> it's, like, it's fine. I it's know. all good. But I mean, I did like, like I said, I like that they 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 fixed all that because I think there was a lot of confusion. Oh, for with, sure. You know, Most people bad. probably. To be fair, it had been like 20 or 30 years or something. Yeah. yeah. So, like, there's no there's no reason most people would even know. For example, right, like, uh, Psylocke depicted in Age of Apocalypse as a kid or, like, a me well, I guess she was an adult, right? So that would technically kind of work. But she was, like, a full-grown woman. And technically, I guess that could have been the other Psylocke, but that character hadn't really been – like, it was 30 years before they established that character. Mm-hmm. Uh, of the person who's in, you know, the person who is now Psylocke. Um, yes. Which is, uh, what, what's her real name? Kwan? Kwan uh, Cannon or Kwanin? It's supposed to be like mer like Merciful Death or some shit. I don't remember. <laughs> like, yeah, I, and it, my thing was, I was like, they're trying to like show her as this like badass who's like on par or above like X23 and Cape. But I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have to get some feats. Like, we ain't seen shit from you. We have no clue what you even do. Like, who the p people who trained you? They're like, oh, I was trained in the assassins, blah, blah, blah. This is like, bitch, there's like 50 of those people in this universe. Give me some context. It's like, I was trained by the amazing Rodigio, but I don't know. 
Oh, that was the big. Oh man. So if you read them all, then so uh, what did you think of Marauders then? Because uh, I really liked the fir I read like the first three issues of that, and I really liked Kitty Pride's kind of it's pretty of attitude. It's pretty interesting. It's at an interesting midpoint right now. There's a whole sub story. So like, and that's what I was gonna say. Having read all of them, and that's why I wanted to read all of them was to get a really full view of Hickman's run. What's he? going for right yeah. i mean maybe even not like what he's going for but like what's going on what's good what's bad yeah because you know you can't expect it all to be good obviously fallen angels wasn't no, great yeah because i fallen angels was um so to me uh is it new mutants new mutants falls a little bit under that same line yeah, that one was. For... Okay. I see. I'm not a fan of those those. Mutants, right, though, and so th I think that's for some people. But even like, I am a fan of all of the mutant teams, even ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I like some of the new. Like, I won't. Okay, I won't say all the new mutants. Like, I like magic. I well, like, I know, I but like I mean, them. I am a fan of all of the the titles. Like, so like, you know, Leo, right, has read all of Spider Man, all yes, of the yes. Spider. -Man. I have yes. read all of X. -Men. All of the X Men, all of the side ones, X Factor, X Plus, X Static, X Force, the other X Factor, the second and third X Forces. Oh like I said, really I, oh yeah, and some of them are really good. Some of them are not yeah. very good. For yeah, example, so people should have all over it, but X Statics is like one of my favorite comics because it is like this weird, like they're not heroes, they're like reality stars. Hmm. Yeah, it's really okay. interesting. Uh, maybe not like good in the classical sense but good in a unique sense of like art i don't know if i could read spider-man from the beginning oh my it's God. a little dude <sighs> the writing on those first the first 150 chapters of x-men man are written like dry toast and actually <laughs> I mean, though quite good at the time but even i, mean, I will say this though comparatively comparing x-men to some of the other ones there's less exposition in x-men with like talking and a bunch there's still a ton of it a ton and a ton and a ton but x-men because it was like the teen get at the kids and had all these moving pieces of like bigotry and racism and stuff mm -hmm. moving inside of it there is a lot of more modern feel to it like it doesn't feel as old as some of the old spider it's still really old, especially those first 150 man after you get past 150 you can really like settle into the like later art styles and the later uh writing styles where it's less like somebody took a thesaurus and threw it into a blender <laughs> except for with beast i mean that was always his thing he's crazy in the first couple ones like nowadays they have toned him down a lot the way he speaks no oh yeah i i heard yeah he was not really the not really everyone's favorite character no favorite no because he is really like just and it's not even like he comes off as a know-it-all but he is like yeah, he like heard, speaks yeah. in like poetry smart aleck, aleck kind of a little bit, little bit kind of like that but like i said it's really just that way he talks you'd have to read a couple chapters and just like get mm -hmm. the gist of it but uh... the best you remember how he talked in the animated series yeah Imagine that like times ten. <laughs> it's like, well, hello, uh, my good yeah. perfunctory sir. It is an absolute endeavor to be conjugulating with you in this fine oh, conbraga brog. Really? Like, so he kind of sounds almost like a, a Eugene from Walking Dead kind of character. A little, you know, a little bit. Eugene although the same thing. Very, very similar, but he. The difference being that he actually is smart in those words and things. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah but yeah, that. That being that, yeah. the difference be between him and Hank, Hank's actually got a degree and is a Harvard professor. But yeah, no, it was one of those ones where I thought it was just like crazy. But yeah, so having read all those, I just wanted to get a really good feel of like what was going oh, on for cool. him. And I gotta say, man, like the main thing is that each of these stories are they feel so separate, right? Like you, we, it felt like when we came in, right, we were going to have this like centered plot. Everything was going to be lined up and working in a way that like contributed to the main story and the main villain and the main set. But so far, my bad. Jeez, all right, yeah, and that means we're pretty close to time as well. Cause we got a couple, oh, five, a couple more things I got, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. But no worries. So. But, uh, 
it they don't feel that way like you've got a bunch of little kind of different villains running around doing different things kind of like messing with this whole picture but what i think they're really doing is building this bigger picture of like the mutant like place and i'm not sure how if they're trying to if he's trying to like cement it as a permanent future thing going forward if he's if this is going to be the age of a thing i mean obviously it's going to be an age of a thing that's the that's the mm. nature of comics is for things to change and then go back to the way they were kind of yeah, there's I mean, there's, there's, a, there's very few changes that stick that, that's why my friend can't get into comics because he's on to manga because he doesn't like that that they're kind of you know stuck on these same but then i'm like that's just kind of the way it is just in the way that they're writing but that done. i mean they are but it's like <laughs> if it's either that or in the character see yeah yeah it's like, and too, there's just so much more history i think with a lot of more of these characters and oh for sure a lot more love and you know with an anime show they do you know a couple hundred chapters but they only started those hundred chapters a couple of years ago it's not like they've been embedded in our minds and our children's right. minds and, and everyone else's minds to say you need to love these characters i mean and even beyond that to have the longevity once again you know what i mean to have these years and years of writing the only two shows i can think of off the top of my head that are even close are dragon ball z and yeah. then followed pretty closely by one piece they've just yeah, those, been releasing you know. for 20 30 years dragon yeah. ball z started and granted the reason dragon ball z is and isn't is because it takes those breaks where you know you have like yeah. however long between z and super wow. and well super was probably the longest wait ever <laughs> oh my god like 15 years or something or... Well, i really thought they were gonna never come up with anything after that i, I didn't think they were gonna be do... the... especially after gt bomb so bad that was the other mm -hmm. one yeah gt i forgot and 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 so that being the difference like those two have been around but even then i mean that has nothing on the nearly hundred like superman will be at a hundred years soon enough yeah. like 15 no, uh, they just did his anniversary right yeah like, but so it wasn't his... sorry, sorry. that was yeah. uh a thousand issues of action yeah. comics sorry, yeah sorry. they will do his hundred thousand issues of detective comics i mean that's uh -huh. that's a long time <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot a lot and like i said it's it's interesting to think about that and how long they've been around uh you know the, it really does just become a part of the eternal consciousness it's like mickey mouse you know what i mean no one's gonna yeah. kill mickey mouse tomorrow no, granted yeah. he's he's not part of a narrative either but it's just one of those things like so you, you're not gonna come in and replace the mouse with a rat yeah it's like <laughs> here's ratty raton like he's our new f <laughs> he's our new goddamn mascot like no it like this these guys are established people love them you have to work around yeah. what people like and the uh, stories just keep going and going and going yeah that, that's just the way it is it's not like something that you can say it's gonna end eventually you know like right one piece now i heard is finally 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 gonna end they said supposedly these are the five rumors, but... five to seven years is the projected oh my time gosh, that's not that's yeah. not ending anytime soon <laughs> and that's being optimistic oh that's God. he said that in guy, his that guy has a lot to, to talk about that's dude all I have to say. uh all I he's have to say. <laughs> he is one of the so to put it in perspective like the way he works is a work he's a world builder he's a storytelling world builder he doesn't yeah. and and why i tell people like the thing about one piece is people are like it's too long i couldn't get into it. it's like i was into one piece right away so i don't get that but if you don't like one piece at first i can't stress to you enough that man is it worth it there's a reason there's 900 fucking episodes man and it's because that dude knows how to tell a fucking story that's the the reason i think people aren't as in tune with it is because unlike regular anime which is a very action focused with combat being the priority and like maybe not priority but a big part like if fights are big in shonen like that's a big part of shonen and the fights are, are important mm -hmm. to show the winner one piece fights exist but fights exist to push the narrative forward <clears throat> okay and that's not to say like they feel unnatural like you're like oh they went out of nowhere it's like no fights are not about the fight they're about the emotion behind the fight it's like oh you're selling you know you're fighting sell to save the world or whatever that's cool and there's emotion behind that obviously but it's a very generalized emotion whereas one piece fights are like you beat up my friend's dog <laughs> or it, okay. but but to more specific they're very much more human reasons to fight it's it's very more humanized characters or it's like yes they live in this fantasy world 
but these are real characters like mm-hmm. uh someone was saying it i saw a post in a youtube forum it's like characters in most shonen side characters most anyone who's not a main character or a main antagonist are there to further the plot there are pieces on a board to be pushed forward one piece characters are all individual characters with their own lives that happen off screen whether or not oda told you about him he thought about it and most of the time wrote it down so like hmm. he he releases like uh inf- info books and data packs all the time oh my god oh dude like 11 or 12 like a jonathan hickman i mean the same thing oh he, very he puts all this information in just a comic book and you're like bro i didn't want all this but okay let me read all this shit and I'm like oh okay well dude it is very oh, much is he lot, he will oh dude he will hit you with all the info you really don't want while making you question all the one dude i was watching his reactions because he's funny as hell if you get a second to look at him you won't keep watching but it's funny because he just screams the whole time and he's just excited about everything and his name's uzumaki khan it sounds familiar he's probably he's a, probably a pretty big reactor his his reaction videos get some numbers but i just noticed him because he was he had done one piece as a reaction video yeah. series and apparently that reactions video changed his favorite anime series after getting to the point from naruto which his channel is named off of to one piece <laughs> but it, it really is like these crazy amounts of info but he, he, he it reminded me because he's at this one episode and they're like back in this and he's like motherfucker i wanted this on episode one and he's on episode 500 oh my gosh yeah, but well. but the point being is like they really like even now and i can tell you this with confidence being 900 chapters in i still don't know the antagonist's origin or not the antagonist oh the protagonist gosh. i still they they, they they i don't even know the antagonist's mother like they See, showed his father about 100 chapters in okay okay but they have kept his mother a secret to this point They won't show you anything of his history before he's like seven years old. And they do this with a lot of characters. They just, in the 800 chapters, did the same thing with one of the secondary characters. You met that character in episode 30. And he had his whole backstory, right? Where he's like, oh, I was picked up by the cooks. And I was raised as a chef for these, like, fighting cooks. And, you know, he saved me. And he, and it's a it's it's a tragic backstory you know what i mean like where he's like sad sad 800 fucking episodes later he's like oh well here's my even tragic or earlier backstory that happened before that <laughs> like he is really likes to hold on those cards real close and yeah. it's it's crazy how far he will take them to be like nah i'm just gonna wait but I, my funnier thing about it was he promised his wife that he was gonna end the series in 10 years and that was 10 years ago. Oh, my gosh. He's so, he's She's so... like, I don't want to hear none of this crap. Done with it. Done with it. Hey, man. But, yeah. They, they, he's... But, yeah, the crazy amount of details they put when they... Uh, like, Marvel does the same. But when you have big universes like that, you have to flesh them out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I wanted to go over just the last few things in here. What I just want to say is that I'm kind of excited for Takai Wadi to do a Star Wars movie. Ah, uh, yeah, t- uh, yeah, Watiti, yeah, Watiti. I did see. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I mean, I think he's just. And people may not like his style. I guess people don't like happy movies like anymore. Well, I don't know. Like people are always just like, ah, oh, well, this. And I'm like, dude, is there something wrong with comedy and movies all of a sudden? Like shit. But yeah, he's he's a good uh, director, I think. Everything like, has to be broody. Oh, I have to send you this uh, comment. Uh, you have to read the Spider Ham book. Did you read it? Oh uh, no, I haven't. You... Oh, bro, there's this one part, right? Where... Is he just talking about how it's all dark and broody in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going, they're going into these uh, different, different universes. universes, right? And then he goes to the one where he's all like the Dark Knight looking like character. <laughs> and he's like, and then Spider Man's like, "Why are you talking all broody and Jay?" <laughs> like, oh my god, dude! It's I amazing. they who is a Deadpool rips the most on those kind of ones where he's like, "Are we going to learn that we both have the mother with the same name, and so I shouldn't kill you?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah like it's just different brother. shit like that. He's like, he's, "Oh man!" And he like the the what Brave <sighs> Walls breaks are great. Ah, oh, now I gotta and I then, gotta read more of the Spider Man stuff since the and then uh, yeah, Spider Man stuff's been pretty good. Some of it, not I, I so the new writer's okay. He's not the best. I'm just kind of seeing where this kindred 
character goes. At least they're that. finally going somewhere with it. Like, how long? It... Well, granted, now they've been on break. That but... was, he introduced that character since the first issue he started his run on, so that was last year. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but, uh, so let's see, uh, Nicolas Cage is supposed to be the Tiger King. <laughs> I, yeah, I did hear that. To be fair, he can play anything and people are going to watch it. And anybody yeah. can play the Tiger King and they're going to watch it. I still haven't seen the documentary. I don't plan to. It's not like there's a whole big... Oh, I mean, I watched it. I just had to see it and I couldn't stop. It was one of those things, bro, like where you watch the first... <laughs> you just first can't first. stop okay. watching. I, 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 can't, I can't stop now. I gotta, I gotta fucking find out what the fuck's happening now. What the hell's going on now? What the, where, oh my! And then what's, what's worse? What's worse is okay. You're like, okay, first episode's bad, but then you're like, okay, let me watch the second episode. Oh shit, shit's just getting worse. And you're like, but it can't get worse, right? And then after the third episode, you're like, oh my god. And you're like, okay, but that's it, right? That's it. The fourth episode, you're like, oh shit, just went off the rails. You're How like, many? Oh my episodes are there, there um, it was like i think it's like eight episodes seven jesus episodes, that's, seven episode thing. that's a lot yeah, to I watch mean, it, man it's just it's just one of those things where it's like i can't believe people like this exist out there you know <laughs> see that's i think that's why i have trouble watching those is because i absolutely believe people out there because i've seen too much man see too much <laughs> but no so, that like i've heard of it i'm like i just know it's gonna be one of those ones where it's gonna remind me of that you remember that movie with the rock and mark Wahlberg, where they fucking kidnap dude they like run a fucking gym or whatever and they kidnap dude to steal all his money and chop him up and cook him on a grill <laughs> That one, yeah, I, and it was I, based I on real stories. Gonna, I thought that movie was gonna be funny, but then when I actually watched it, it was serious. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was serious trying to be funny. It was, it was yeah, a it happening. Was trying to be a little fun. It was trying to be like dark humor. But it, yeah, it was, it was trying like to make fun of it. Dark humor. It was like way borderline over the line. Yeah, it was just like, like we're gonna roast this guy. Like, what the fuck? You were. It was more of a what the fuck movie than anything. And yeah, and, and then, then they're like, yeah, this is based. It's he did, but it's based on a real fucking story. Oh, that's right, it was. I remember. Yes, it was on the. Ch I was like, what the really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Really, they, they found by the time they found him, they had already cooked this. And I was like, people are fucking stupid, dude. That's all I could think to myself. And like, there's levels, right? Like, there's yeah. levels of stupid, and I personally know and i'm related to people who have done really stupid shit even up to that level like where they've done things that have just i would consider dumb on the basic level but that's like on a more than basic level dumb that's like advanced dumb like you gotta go to school to be that dumb well the last few things in here is uh they showed a little bit of the first looks of the lord of the rings the golem game I, I did brought, see I it. Play. I want to play it. It didn't. It didn't look all that great from the looks I saw, it though. Looked it looks really kind of blocky. Yeah. Yeah, it looked really cartoonish to me. So I don't know what they're going for. But maybe style, they're going but... for that. Yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be old. I mean, I, I didn't see, I didn't see I, too much. I think it right. really comes down to the gameplay, yeah. though, for me. For yeah, most yeah. games, like obviously, it can't look like hot garbage. Also, no, I still gotta do that. I've, I gotta. Maybe I'll do that today if I get a little extra time. I'm making a. I want to make a video, and I've been wanting to on five uh manga slash anime that look or sound like they would be garbage but are actually hidden gems oh yeah you were telling me about that yeah yeah yeah, yeah you should get that one i think yeah. i'm yeah and see maybe see if that would be like we could do a video game version of that as okay. well because i think that works i think there's video games out there as well that yeah, fall under that line there, i would say and then uh, oh so the last few things here, and, uh, <laughs> final season for Shira on Netflix. I I've actually been watching that with my son and we, we I heard, heard it. Yeah, I heard like it was here. besides I mean the thing is people are so focused on style that they'll ignore content and I think Teen Titans Go is one of the biggest sufferers of that where mm -hmm. and well, obviously the con it. Yeah, the, and people hate on it because it's not what they what the other one was. But it's not supposed I, to be. It's made for kids. Yeah. yeah. And once again, my biggest thing i like about it is like they make the episodes with a very clear intent and message like you know or or at least the subject uh the the one i always think of is the pyramid scheme one or it's like they're talking about pyramid schemes what other comic would you ever know that actually talks about how pyramid schemes even work mm -hmm. let alone or sorry cartoon and there's just other things you know uh 
to help celebrate people's birthday you know respect people's personal space sing have fun yeah. don't be a jerk yeah i mean that's what ca all cartoons should be about which i mean which is what we watch there's always a lesson to be taught in yeah a cartoon, like i know, think hey arnold was yeah. one of the best ones oh that. yeah hey arnold was really good i think the thing hey arnold, arnold had the was coop, uh, the coop guy or whatever what was the oh man? pigeon the pigeon dude the pigeon Pig man yeah pigeon like, that was a really heartfelt story or even the stoop, stoop kid boy or... yeah stoop kid i mean there a lot of them uh, they're the even stories the one, my favorite one that made me cry the most to this day and always will be is the episode about his neighbor who got uh helped him get his daughter back for christmas yeah that like was that. really good so dude if you really like stories like that like where the story right connecting and the the message of personal you know people right is the mm -hmm. main story as opposed to what's going on like there will be action and there will be stuff as in hey arnold you'd have interesting things going on uh but it's about people like one piece is a story about the people in the story like yes it's about pirates and luffy blah blah blah, <laughs> walking skeleton but that's really not what the story is about like even if you go along the lines of what he does is about finding your friends chasing your dreams and mm -hmm. like how people and then uh, there's a whole shitload of stuff that unfolds in the background of that but at the end of the day it's about you know being good people yes, and how yeah, to be good yeah. people which i'd say most shonen are about you know yeah yeah what, except for tech. except for from death note but <laughs> 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 no but no and, no, and he was just it, all I, like he went crazy but oh he, yeah he, he did tell him he's like you, you you hold on to this you're gonna go mad so. he said this is gonna fuck your life up uh, oh man the last Spe two things that i said last two three things i had then was just uh you know Charlie Steele, or, or I can't say her last name, but uh, she's Theron, supposed yeah. to be in that uh, Netflix movie I told you about. I don't know last year. Oh, maybe it was called The Old Guard. Yeah, you were telling me uh, about it with yeah. Charlie's. Yeah. So they've shown the the set photos of that. Looks pretty good. We'll see about that. I forget the whole story of that one. I, I have to read it to you again when we do our thing. But um, it, I remember the story being pretty interesting with that one. Um, and the next thing too that was interesting was uh i guess boba fett uh being yes i heard for the mandalorian yeah which is cool but a super spoiler like i don't want to know that i you know i i, I, I already I, was gonna watch the second season of the mandalorian i didn't need to know yeah, boba yeah. fett was gonna no, fucking I, show up i was fun i was curious though if anybody kind of knew that he was coming though because you know, i you was episode, i just but... the my biggest thing is i'm super happy that this will shut people the fuck up when it comes to Boba Fett being Mandalorian. Yeah. This yeah. cuz I've had way too many people know he's just wearing the the armor he stole it. I was like, "No, dude." Well, technically Boba Fett wasn't they're actually both not even true Mandalorians. Now no. we know a little bit more of the Exactly. Mandalorian story. Uh, but uh, yeah, they he's were, not a Mandalorian. He's a foundling. Thing. Yeah, both refugees taken from yes. their planets, and they were trained to be Mandalorians. Right. And... It, it's the same way that Jude Jewish people are both a faith and a religion. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean that's kind of what it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah like I said, it you was a religion, you have yeah. you have Gentile and non-Gentile Jews. Gentile Jews, uh, or whatever, being. I always forget the which one is which, but obviously being natural native Jewish people who practice Judaism and then non-Jewish people who practice Judaism, both mm -hmm. still Jewish, just like mm -hmm. Boba Fett's still Mandalorian, just not a true Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And yeah, Boba Fett would be, cause I was going to say, no, Boba Fett would even be a clone too, right? The, the Boba, because yeah. Yeah, because I remember I was reading a little bit of backstory, and I guess when Jango Fett, yeah, when he was doing all clone, clone, yeah, things, the he little, wanted a son, he wanted yeah, a son for Boba himself, Fett is, so he kept him, but he still wears the thing and follows the way. Yeah, 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 exactly. In a way that the original Jango Fett actually was no longer a Mandalorian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't follow the way, didn't wear his helmet <laughs> all the time, didn't do a bunch of stuff. Uh, so there was this yeah those last few things and then uh, yeah i'll have to send you this other thing about this concept art for a pg-13 uh teenage mutant ninja turtles for netflix it looked really cool like the concept art i liked it it looked i don't know it looked cool i'd be interested because uh, the original ninja turtles was pg-13 yeah yeah exactly like yeah we were saying and then you know uh, i guess the last things i was gonna say about the games that were coming out was just the last of us to 
Um, we got Pokemon and Sword uh, coming out in June. This, oh, Last of Us 2 is supposed to be coming out June 19th. Okay, that's um, pretty pretty soon. That's, that's next bad. month. Not too, not, yeah, not too, not too bad. Um, Pokemon, the DLC, to be determined still, supposedly was in June, but they just haven't announced it when in June. Um, right, right. Death Stranding which um is for pc that was yeah the I'm, one i'm more excited for was that ghost of uh to uh Tsunumi or something like that. oh yeah yeah yeah. i forgot for about that one yeah. yeah that one's coming out in july uh marvel game comes out in july uh, or, which, no, sorry september september i'm getting more and more like uh worried about because the long yeah, yeah, yeah the longer it takes very like I just don't know don't what they're know. gonna do. There hasn't been a lot of released on it. It doesn't look like it's gonna be all that popular. Like, there are ways to make look any very game clean, great. To tell you the truth, it just no. doesn't look clean to me. Dude, it, honestly, it looks like a game I would I could have played like six years ago. It looks like one of those games that you you made for when the movies came out. <laughs> I think you it looks like, like a, you it, a movie for yeah. the game, you, get, <laughs> you know what it looks like to like you know what it looks like to me. Uh, I don't know if you'd ever played it, but not Champions on the phone, but on PC they had a version where it was like Marvel. I think oh, it was I also called Champions, one. but it was it, it was a free to play, and it was like it almost <laughs> looks like that. Where I'm like, okay. mm. it looks okay. a little bit better. You can tell they did like some actual capping for like facial and mm. stuff, but. I'm just hoping it's a little cleaner and it needs to be good. Like Marvel suffers suffers heavily in the video game department and I don't know why because the stories and stuff are there. I think we're just choosing bad studios or something. I don't know. Like give that shit to Neversoft and let it work. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Square Enix, I don't think was the perfect studio to do it. Square I have never been the biggest. The thing with Square Enix is it takes them a long time to get anything good out there. I mean, they like I said, they did good games. I mean, my Kingdom Hearts is always fun. But right, but how long does it take Kingdom Hearts uh, to get out there? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. even the yeah. original sequel took a couple years. We'll see how it all turns out, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, so there was that. I'm mean, like I said, I was excited just to play every different character, and then they did say that they were releasing a new character every so often, and they were going to be free. That was the other cool thing that I was like, okay, that would be cool to play Spider-Man. That's where I think they can but make then, it like, work. How good are they going to do like the characters each person? Right, right, it needs to be specific and individual. Each character can't. It's like, and the problem being like each character well, can only know, have so much. Different things with Spider-Man, and that's it. <laughs> right like <laughs> and even beyond that like, even beyond that is spider venom man. and spider-man gonna be the same is spider-man and spider gwen gonna be the same is you know what i mean are all the spider-man gonna have the same moves or are they gonna yeah. have different moves and so, like it's it's, uh, it's gonna have to have a lot going on with it to make it a different game so, last few things in cyberpunk 2077 also september which i am probably gonna buy i really ever since the launch of it and just the concept of it and just ever since you saw keanu yeah no it's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. After the fact, and then, when came in, I was like, "You guys did right by." <laughs> and then they postponed it till September. Yeah, except for that. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, yes, yeah, so there's that. And then Dying Light Two is supposedly coming out spring 2020. Um, don't know though. These are all just games that were supposedly coming out this spring. Elder Scrolls Blade. Uh, yeah, Blade. that's the thing is like there are no, there's no news. It's all like, oh yeah, here's the stuff we already told you was coming out a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. But, but uh, now yeah, it's the, actually the only big out. games really was the Cyberpunk probably, and then the other ones I was just telling you about um, are probably the only biggest ones coming out still. Last of Us Two would probably be the next one. Yeah, I'd have to look at my other game because, like, there's you know the this the streamer games subset, but they've been on a hold for a while too. So I have no clue what the actual stock that, is. That's pretty much all my my list here. I didn't I didn't really have nothing else to go off of. <laughs> cool. Well, we actually ended up with mostly a full episode today, but that's all right. We that's must cool. have actually had stuff to talk about, which is good. Yeah uh and uh you know we'll hopefully be back next week for another episode of comic convos yeah sounds good awesome awesome i'm gonna hit the stop and on the stream thanks you everyone who tuned in and we'll catch you next time